Hey folks, it's Sean here with the Calling Out Community, and today I'm going to take a slightly different direction than my normal news and current events fair to talk for a few moments about how to change a screen on a laptop. The reason, obviously, is right in front of you. I had set my computer down on the floor the other day in my room to do something and without even thinking I had stepped on it backwards and I heard a crack and looked down and I had put my foot right in the middle of the screen of my laptop. So I was fortunate. I was able to quickly find some instructions on how to replace the screen and when I did I learned that I actually could do it myself. There are places where you can order them and I'm going to put the um, address on the screen for you there uh, so that you can order them as well. It was excellent service. They turned it around very quickly and uh, it was about $80 or so, $55 for the screen itself um, and they'll get you the exact screen for your exact laptop. Also a toolkit which I thought was very important to have on hand in case I needed it came to about $80 total. And the kit included uh, some tweezers, a couple of screwdrivers, two guitar picks, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with those, and a big suction cup. Now I ordered this on a Monday, and I would have had it the very next day, Tuesday, if the mailman had actually delivered it to my apartment instead of just, you know, carding me and making me go to a mailbox halfway across the city to pick it up. But anyway, not bitter, just saying it could have been here early. Well, first of all, if you haven't done so already, you need to turn the power off, obviously. You can do that either by doing a hard reset by holding the button down for four seconds, um, or you could just use the standard Windows button and uh, turn it off using the software with the uh, shutdown feature. And next you want to remove the bezel, that's the front framing around the screen on the laptop. And I used a flathead screwdriver just to kind of begin it, but you can wiggle your fingers in there as well. And you're going to want to pull it firmly, but not too hard, or you might break the frame. And you'll want to hear the snapping sound, that's a good sound in this case. Uh, if it comes a little seized into place, just um, unsnap it past that and it should all come loose. And then you'll want to unfasten, of course, the old LCD screen from the frame. And to do so, there are four different uh, screws to uh, take off. Uh, one on each corner, obviously, of the frame. And then you're going to want to just lift the screen off of the frame and uh, just lay it flat down on the keyboard in front of you until you've had a chance to disconnect the connector that's on the bottom left-hand side, at least on my frame it was. And um, otherwise, if you pull the cord out, you could literally destroy your computer for good. You'd have to take it into a shop to get them to put a new wiring in. Now, the wiring may come out of the slot that it's in. Now, that's not something to worry about so much. You can just snap it back into the frame where it was before, and um, all will be fine. But just don't pull the cord all the way out um, or you will find that you are not able to ever hook up a screen again to it. And now of course it's time to reconnect the cable to the new screen. So lay the new one flat down just like you had the old one. And once you've connected it, push it back up onto the frame. And um, you'll see that there's a couple of little um, clips, well one on each corner of the screws, that you're going to need to use um, to put it back on again and uh, make sure that they are out in front of the screws, uh, not behind. They help to keep the frame uh, securely in place. And once you have screwed it all into place, just like you took it off, you can peel off that little uh, piece of tape on the bottom there and you'll find that you've got a beautiful little screen protector on your LCD panel. So you didn't have to worry about wearing gloves or keeping your fingerprints off of it. It's uh, completely clean and ready to go. And then of course finally you just put the uh, bezel back on the way that you took it off. You'll see there's only one way it goes on with the Acer name on the bottom and um, the clips of course are on the bottom as well. And you just um, snap it back on again the way that you took it off. You'll hear some rather loud cracks uh, near the end um, which is uh, the sound of it um, aligning up uh, properly at the end.
Uh, so the last few clicks are gonna sound really, really harsh, but don't worry about it, you didn't break anything. And now the moment of truth. Do we have a working screen or not? That's gonna be obviously the most important <laughs> outcome at the end of the day here. And of course, in my case, we did. But that was not before I had to take it all apart because of that stupid connector uh, inside being loose. So double check, double check, double check before you put it all together. Once it's together, you know, and it's all working, you should never have to think about it again. Um, but a new screen is a beautiful thing to behold that's for sure it makes such a difference when you're not looking through a crack in the corner um, which literally will grow um, over the course of the day uh, if you don't uh, fix it fairly quickly if you like this video like subscribe and share um, and please leave your comments we always reply to all of them if possible um, and good luck changing your screen and have a good day